hey, here are five false things I've noticed about lie detection. Number one, there are effective methods. People have struggled to develop a reliable means of telling when someone is lying for thousands of years. Modern methods make use of sophisticated monitoring of facial expressions, body language, vocal characteristics, even brain activity. Older methods made use of drugs or the measuring of physiological responses thought to be related to deception, like sweating or having a dry mouth. None of those methods really worked, at least not without an uncomfortably wide margin for error. The most reliable method, or at least the most commonly used method, is the polygraph test, but that distinction isn't worth very much. Number two, the most popular method is reliable. According to the National Academy of Sciences, most studies of the reliability of polygraph testing have been seriously flawed, so much so that commonly cited estimates of their reliability are almost certainly not to be trusted. After its own study, the NAS concluded that polygraphs were probably better able to detect lies than chance, but that they were nowhere near accurate enough for their results to be relied upon. Now, the unreliability of polygraph testing could be the fault of the machine itself, which measures some of those aforementioned physiological responses thought to be related to lying, or it could be down to the human factor. Many critics of polygraph testing allege that polygraph examiners can conduct their tests like interrogations, triggering a stress response in the subject, which can affect the results of the test. Number three, it's difficult to thwart. If feeling a little stressed out by the polygraph examiner can skew the results, it's no surprise that a deceptive subject armed with some basic countermeasures can cheat detection too. Since the polygraph works by measuring physiological responses, if the subject can remain calm and confident throughout the test, it's entirely possible to lie on a polygraph undetected. One might also try to intentionally trigger a particular physiological response in order to achieve a desired result. One famous example of this is Aldrich Ames, the former CIA operative who was eventually convicted of spying against the United States for the Soviet Union. He passed a polygraph test. It didn't wind up doing him any good, but still, Number four, it's a valuable investigative tool. Alder James isn't the only high-profile criminal to have passed a polygraph test. In 1984, Gary Ridgway, who was eventually convicted on 49 counts of murder as the Green River Killer, passed a polygraph test and then went on to spend the rest of the 80s and 90s killing more people. Two years earlier, another suspect in the Green River killings had failed a polygraph, which led law enforcement to spend resources and manpower investigating that man who turned out to be completely innocent. And it's not just law enforcement investigations which are compromised by faulty lie detection. U.S. government agencies use polygraph testing to determine if people are given a particular security clearance. And the American Civil Liberties Union has alleged that polygraphs are also used by employers to cover job discrimination. In fact, since 1988, it has been against U.S. law for most private employers to require employees or job applicants to take polygraph tests or to penalize them for declining to. That law does not apply to government agencies. Number five, it's not overly relied upon. Polygraph tests are rarely admitted as evidence in American courts, but they are frequently used by police, attorneys, and government agencies. And private employers can require employees to submit to polygraph tests if they suspect their employees of stealing or otherwise causing financial injury to the business. But why? Why do we use this method at all when it's extremely unreliable at best and practically worthless at worst? Well, one reason might be that people are afraid of it. Someone who really does have something to hide when faced with a polygraph test might decide to just go ahead and fess up. In other words, fear and self-preservation might be the closest thing that we will ever get to a genuinely reliable lie detector. <laughs> the hardest part is picking only five. Catch you next time. Hey folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and share it and subscribe to this channel if you're not subbed already. And also please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon.
You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching.